Greetings, Summiteers. My name is Charlie Lovett, and I'm a member of the Summit class of 1977 and former parent and staff member. In 2008, while serving as Summit's writer in residence, I wrote Onward and Upward, a history of Summit School. But these days, I'm writing novels, and I'm excited to share my latest publication with you as part of the 2020 Founders Week celebrations. The book is called Escaping Dreamland, and it was inspired by books I read when I was a student at Summit, books like The Hardy Boys and Nancy Drew. On September 23rd, I get to discuss my work with head of school Michael Ebling, and this is one time I'm glad to be sent to the principal's office. Escaping Dreamland is about four writers who live in New York City, one in 2010 and three in 1906. Robert Parrish, the 2010 hero, is haunted by a secret past that is tangled up in his childhood love for children's series books. In a box of old volumes, he finds the first chapter of an unfinished book. Robert decides to solve the mystery of this fragment, and his journey plunges the reader into the New York City of the early 20th century and the lives of three friends who want to write series books for children. The book is filled with historic events and characters. You'll live through the greatest disaster of the era in New York, witness the most famous crime, and experience historical events, both large and small. Best of all, you'll spend a day with our heroes at Dreamland, the sparkling amusement park on Coney Island, which becomes a metaphor for all that could be at the dawn of this new and exciting century. The modern Mrs. Darcy calls Escaping Dreamland nostalgic, wistful, warm, and wise. Author Liz Nash Taylor writes, not since E.L. Doctorow's ragtime has this era in New York been so beautifully captured. Of course, I will always wonder what Mr. Carr or Mrs. Teague would think of Escaping Dreamland, but I'm excited to know how Dr. Ebling liked it and for us to share this book with the Summit community. I certainly wouldn't be where I am today without Summit School, nor could I have written Escaping Dreamland. I hope you enjoyed the discussion and the book.